G'day, what we're doing today is a four rail steel panel all the way up and down along the front boundary of this property. It's gonna be a decorative front entrance. We've done the easy bit already yesterday. Now we're gonna do the hard bit. So yesterday we did the first run of posts on a constant plane. So it's one long angle, the post top's all the same. Down here, it's gonna to have to change angles. So we'll head down here and Dave will show us what challenges we've got to overcome. We're going on an adventure. Tree in road, challenge one. No access of trailer. <laughs> What's challenge three? Cameraman. With the second one, we've got an attachment for our merchant air hammer, and hopefully it drives in easy enough. So we've got a fixed point at the far end here. We've got this strainer in, and we've set the string line all the way to the end. It's one way of getting a nice straight line. In this particular case here, we're going to rely a little bit more on eye, and we're going to use eye to get the roll right because the string line can only tell us so much at this point but it was perfect up the top. So the reason we're about to come in on this angle is to get past the customer's drainage berm he's got just here to get past the tree and to angle the trailer enough that I can see through and line the posts up with the ones we've done up there and the end one down there. I feel like this is a pyramid scheme. Okay. Help me, I'm in a cult. <laughs> Walter Stensing is a cult. They've trapped me, I need help. Help. Safe word. Mum, help. <laughs> so I've roughly sighted in the post I'm about to drive in. What I'm looking for is the side of this post to match up with the post in the trailer, to match up with the post uh, down the bottom of the hill. So I know that they're gonna be perfect all the time. So, so far we haven't hit a tree root yet. Um, Hopefully it stays that way the whole way down. I've lined it up pretty good. I'll just have another quick check and we'll get the height with the rest of them and go from there. What I've got Clancy doing here is lining me up from the top to the post so I can get a rough idea just so I know it's not too low. So I've marked it roughly with the tops of the post. I'll go down and measure it to make sure it's not too low just so I can get a, a good, um, a nice even plane. So I'll sit at about 12.45, 12.50, which is what we use at our post up. So I'll drive it to that height and then we should be good to go. So what are you up to, Gary? Well, while Dave's down there doing what Dave does, we're up here tacking the rails in, trying to get them all nice and level, so they all look really good from both sides of the fence. Once the tops are tacked in, we're gonna go through and put the other three rails in on the way back and make sure they're all nice and level so they look good for both sides. So Gary seems to think you're pretty useless up this end. Yeah, coming from the bloke with those in his shirts. <laughs> yeah, mate!
Look at that beautiful backdrop behind you. That is nice, though. <laughs> we like it. Time to start. How's it look? Good from my house. Looks good. <laughs> So we finished driving in all the posts. We've done the one up there by hand on a separate video. Um, boys have tacked in the top rails. We've adjusted them accordingly so they got a nice flow to them. So now we're happy with where they're sitting. The boys are just gonna fill in the rest of them and then we'll be good to go.